Has Elon Musk helped or hurt Twitter? <laughs> it's so funny. When we were talking about this last time, you were like, is it a good thing that he bought it or is it a bad thing? And I said, TBD. Yeah. Cause like, we really don't know the answer. Honestly, the answer is still TBD. Like, I feel like the, what I definitely felt at that time when we spoke, the sky was not falling. Everybody was like, oh, Twitter's dead. Yeah. RIP Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting off this platform. <laughs> Those same people who are getting off the platform are still there yep. whining about the platform, doing the same things. So Twitter's not dead. X is not dead. But the it, it's way too early. Like It really depends on what the long-term strategy is. It seems like based on Elon's moves that sustainability and profitability and actually making Twitter a platform or X, I keep calling it Twitter, old habits. Call it call it Twitter. I, it's funny yeah. how like we we just refuse to accept this. It's so ingrained. I don't I don't understand the the basis of it, but it does drive discussion. It seems like profitability and making it a successful business are way more important to Elon than it was to the previous regime, right? Like yeah. their business was out of sorts. Like it was a platform that people enjoyed in a certain way. And I don't think that he's he's heart, heart, um, hurt the or hampered the enjoyment in, in, in a particularly uh, noticeable way. Like I, I definitely see some people who feel like they're not being served the same things, right? That the algorithm's not responding in that way. But I would say, you know, most of those people are not jumping to threads. Most of those people are not yeah. seeking other platforms. They're kind of still staying where they are. Um, it seems like the numbers, the metrics would indicate that there's more activity on the platform now than there was previously. So I think it's going in a direction toward a being a better run business. Does that mean a better platform? I think is still kind of like murky and being worked out. Like Elon's playing with some of the enforcement and the moderation and the community note stuff and things like that. I think it's still too early to kind of like have a real determination on that, but I'm interested. I'm interested to see how the journey goes, but it seems like his focus on making it a better business kind of trump and supersede the other parts of it. And so I would suggest if you like it, stay. If you don't like it, go. Like, I don't think you need to be married to any one platform. I think something that we talk about in, in combat sports, in pro wrestling and MMA a lot is... You just got to get the people to care. If you're in the middle where no one cares about you, that's the worst place to be. If Absolutely. they hate you, that is far better. So I think he has, Elon has done with all, he's made a bunch of crazy moves within the last year. X was like the head scratcher. Why are we doing this? Yeah. So many other moves throughout the past year since we last spoke, he's, he's done. It's publicity. And he, uh, I think any publicity is good publicity. So I think I think it's in a better spot than it was a year ago. To a certain extent, but also like the moves have been described as crazy, but like what's the end result? Are they actually crazy? Like how different is your experience on X now right. versus Twitter? I think then? it's a better platform now than it was a year ago. Oh, so even better. I was going to say, I don't think it's even materially that different. Like I would yeah. say it was kind of like similar, but if you're saying even better for in your experience, like- were they crazy? Yeah, they, and they, I think it's I think it's more enticing now. I mean, you know, I don't have a blue check on. I, <laughs> I actually just deleted my X account because I had enough of it. But you've got a blue check on X, and I, so I now there's some monetization features on that. So I'm sure you're raking it in over there. Oh yeah, the, but no, the it, it seems it seems to be a better creators before didn't really have much of a reason to be. It was just like all right, like I can tweet out links to my articles and stuff, whatnot. But there was no like financial interest in it like there has been for TikTok and YouTube and Instagram for years now. It seems to be more creator friendly now. Yeah, it is definitely. And that's aligned with what I was saying, like business is the focus, right? Twitter was not a creator platform. Yeah. Twitter was an, a news engagement, like community platform. Now they're posting full podcasts on it. Now they're paying creators. <laughs> the sums are not mind blowing, um, but they are something, yeah. right? Where previously they didn't even have Nothing. that. They're paying creators. They're doing that. They're limiting and like throttling people leaving the platform, right? Like now they're limiting linking or or how um, obvious links are and wanting people to not leave the platform. Right. They want you to stay. They want the content to be on X, which I think fundamentally from a business perspective makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Like that is what I would do. If I were to come in and, and run the business, that would be something I would focus on. I don't want people linking to YouTube videos. I want the videos to be on my platform. That is the best way I can attract advertisers and keep people on my platform. So that part of it makes sense to me. And and I think that it it, it is a good decision. There are some people who feel like maybe like the the heart of what Twitter was is gone, right? Or felt like this thing, I liked it the way it was and now it's changing. And I understand that. Like if that's your perspective, 
but I would just say go elsewhere. But that's the evolution of social media. We talked about this last time. Like Facebook is no longer what it was in 2011 <laughs> yes. when it was just posting on your wall and seeing what your friends are doing. It has completely changed. And you said like, oh, once money gets involved, that changes it. Everything completely changes. And so now it's TikTok in 2018 was just about entertainment. It was just pure entertainment. Now TikTok is about a brand and business and selling things. It just, these all just change over time. They end up kind of coalescing. They end up kind of like converging on like the same point eventually, but they have different maturity yeah. <laughs> cycles, but they do end up ultimately being an advertising platform. They end up being platforms that are focused on keeping people on the platform so they can sell advertising space. Yeah. It's, it's not different than television. That is ultimately how they, they all start in different places. And then over the years, converge to that to that one point and and twitter kind of stayed away from that for quite a while like yeah. there were there were certain monetization levers that they had um in terms of uh pre-roll advertising on videos but that was it for a long time otherwise it would be like sponsored posts which is outside like the the function of the platform and now there's inside the platform now there's actually on platform advertising and so it's reaching that same point that other platforms have kind of reached 